So this is a this is a video response to a really cool video that one of James's Vox Commando users, uh, Mr. Wolf, made. He made a demonstration and a video tutorial showing how he had a home automation security uh, alert, intruder alert sent uh, that was set off by if someone comes into his space, a motion detector goes off and sends an alert and does all kinds of crazy things. So this is a video response to that because uh, Mr. Wolf did a lot of neat things and combined Vox Commando with a bunch of other programs. And in his video, he also mentioned that he thinks that some of those things could actually be done within Vox Commando, uh, which is true, apparently. <laughs> so James is going to give me a bit, of a, a bit of a tutorial on how some of those things could actually be done within Vox Commando or just done differently if you have a different home setup. Yeah, so three, three things, basically. Uh -huh. um, one, he used iSpy. Mm -hmm. uh, we happen to have a Vera home automation controller here, so we're going to use the Vera plugin. And we're going to use a motion sensor to generate the event instead of using the iSpy software with a webcam, mm -hmm. which is what Mr. Wolf did. And then he, the event that he, he, the event that he triggered was to send an email. Right. So he was using a think a command line program to send the email so we're going to show how to use Vox Commando to send the email without having to use any other software. Using Gmail? Okay, cool. And he was also uh, closing, it doesn't apply in our case, but he was closing the iSpy. So we'll just show you how to close the window in, in Vox Commando because he used Event Ghost oh, right. to close the window. Yeah, okay. Or close a program. Cool. And that's our dog having dreams in the if you background. Can, if you can hear something whining in the, in the background, that's our dog <laughs> having a nightmare. Okay, so you mentioned plugin. You mentioned the Vera plugin, but I have the basic uh, Vox Commando, so I don't actually have that plugin installed. Right. Well, there, first, right? Uh, can you open the? There's a web page that lets us view the interface for Vera. Oh yeah, I can open that. Um, okay. So y'all notice the second item there is the motion sensor. It's this here. Yeah, and I'm just going to wave, wave my arm in front of the motion sensor. Okay, and so you'll see he's it's tr been triggered. And that should take a minute to reset as long as, oh, or less. Maybe it was a second, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, it's good. The faster it is, the better for testing. You can set it to sort of uh, to, uh, stay armed for 10 minutes until there's 10 minutes of no motion, and then it'll turn off. But for testing purposes, I wanted it to be quick. So I can put my hand in front of it again and trigger it. Okay. Now notice the uh, the URL here is uh, the IP address of the Vera is uh, one sixteen. So we'll just remember that. Okay, I'm going back to Vox now. Yeah, and okay. we're going to install the uh, plugin. Okay. Or uh, enable the plugin. Okay. So uh, uh, so right now there are no active plugins. Yeah, so um, you, in options you can enable plugins. Okay, so in option, open options? Yeah. And I go to the plugins tab? Yeah. And then I want the Vera plugin. Correct. Okay, and that's it? Yeah. So I save and close. Uh, it says I have to close and restart for changes to take effect, so I'll do that quickly. Yeah. It's not always true, but in the case of plugins, it is true. You, do, you have to do a full restart of the program. Okay, do I want to... I don't need to see Vera anymore. Okay. Uh, now, if you do need to go to the plugin settings. Uh, that's here? Or... Yeah. Okay, so I click on Vera. Yeah, uh, the plugin is very new, so it's going to um, this become may... more sophisticated over time. But th So we have the correct IP address in there already. And what's 3 4? That's a port? That's the that? port. That's okay. the default port. So um, we don't need to change anything here, but you want... What is this, though? Yeah, that should be checked, poll. Okay. This is what's going to... Uh, when anything changes in your Vera setup, a light turns on or off, or motion is detected, it'll generate an event when that if that is checked. Okay, so it pulls so, for a change for something and then yeah, it generates... Yeah, Vox Commando basically event. asks Vera to let it know whenever there's a change. Okay, and then I save options, um, and I don't have to restart for this. Do you know? Oh, we can test it. Okay, we'll find it. So if you're looking at the history window, uh -huh. um, we should see events there. Which we don't. So, well, let me trigger that. Oh, I Motion. see. Motion. Nothing. No, happened. okay, do a restart. A full, do I have to do a full restart or a quick restart? Yeah, full restart. Full restart. 
What? Okay. Okay, so there's... So now it's looking for something on Vera anyways. Right? Anyway. It's uh, so this is a, this is a typical event that you would get. Uh -huh. So let's just look here again. Sorry, I'm taking control here for a second. Just James stole my mouse. This yeah. is typical. If I had a remote in my hand, he would steal okay, the remote. Okay, sorry, I'm not touching it. <laughs> okay, what do you want okay, me to so do? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my hand in front of the motion sensor now. Okay, so you saw the green dude just changed to a running away red dude, so and that's been activated. if you look activated. at the event, it also went to and if you, device 54 on. Right, so you can see that Lox uh, noticed an event happening. And then if, you, if we don't move for a little bit, then the this motion should. sensor will turn green, and then we'll get the Vera device 54 off. But we don't necessarily have to wait for that right now. Okay, so what's next? I don't want to bore people. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to. Uh, we well, want we want to trigger a command with this with this event first of all. Okay. So, so we'll just do a text, to, a simple text to speech command that says intruder alert or something like that. Okay, so I'm going to create some kind of new command. Is what you're saying? Yeah. Um, maybe we can make in a new group. New group. Uh, this is going to be. Whatever you want to call it. This is for Vera. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, this is a video response. <laughs> I don't know. Are we doing all of the different commands for this video response in here? Sure. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to create a new, uh, sorry, command. And this will be uh, intruder alert. Intruder alert. Okay. And so we want to use the text to speech one of them. So text to speech is TTS. I could have gone uh, with the magic wand and looked for it, but I decided to type TTS. So which speak? Speak. And then we just type the text that we want it to speak aloud. Intruder alert. Are we definitely recording? Ish. Yeah, I think we are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very tired. This is our third our third video. We're going full hardcore on this whole afternoon trying to record some videos. Okay, anyways, so intruder alert, so it's gonna say that. Um yes, test it. you can test it. We're gonna test it. Intruder alert. Oh he sounds so excited. Yeah. Okay. Um well, that's the Windows 8 default voice. Yeah, we don't even know which one. Alright, so intruder alert, that's working. Okay, so now we I'll show you how to use the event to trigger it the command. Okay. Okay, look in the history window on the on the left there. So this is the history window. Well, now where it says Vera device 54 on. Oh yeah, on. Uh -huh. Okay, and now you just drag that onto the new command. Oh, nifty. Check it out. Okay. Okay. So now if you save and close the tree. Save. Yeah. And close. Um, I'm just gonna do a quick restart. Okay. Uh, now, when I when I move my hand, it should trigger the command that speaks. Okay. Intruder alert! Yay! Wow, that was instant. Okay. Yep. So we're not gonna do anything nearly as complicated as what Mr. Wolf did with uh, having <laughs> the opportunity to disable it. We're just gonna send an email right away. Yeah. Okay. So, so I have we'll to go back. just add to that act. To some to actions to that command. Okay. Um, but we do need to set up, uh, in our options, we do need to set up how an email is sent. Oh, okay, With yeah. our user account. Uh -huh. So So here? Yeah. You need to close the editor. Oh, okay. Open options. Okay. Open options. Um, it's now just it's, Gmail? Yeah, it's under the Gmail. I, I actually am not sure if it works with other SMTP servers? Yeah, it, it may, but definitely works with Gmail. Okay. With that port number. So I would have to enter. Uh, so this G, this is the right port number for Gmail for anyone, yeah. pretty much, yes. that you know, as far as you know. So and, if you put a valid username and password there. Um. So I had created a, a special. Uh, fake I hope account. I'm getting this. A fake account in honor of our dog.
What is the password? Woof. It's stinky one exclamation mark. Bow wow. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, so so, uh, this probably doesn't matter, but it would be like the reply to address, you know, Uh that the person sees when they get the email. Okay. Um, Well, you should make it stinky Marcus. Stinky Marcus? Okay. I hope that's, I'm remembering the, I think I called it stinky Marcus, this account. (laughs) But if it doesn't work, that may be one of the factors. All right, so uh, save and close, is that it? Yeah. Let me just check to see that that... It won't oh, shoot, that doesn't... Oh, that's good to know, though. Okay, so this will clear... You have to set that before if you actually want to see your password, which I do. The idea was you didn't want someone else to be able to come in and check that and see what, right. you, what you'd entered. But I do that's now. So this is, uh, this is... I'm going to change this password, and anyhow, this is a dummy account, so it doesn't matter. Okay? So, just don't uh, touch that. Okay, save... <laughs> Don't touch it. Don't use my program. Okay, save and close. Options. Okay, I'll need to restart again. No, actually, you don't for that one. I don't. Okay. So, uh, where, what are we doing now? Oh, commands. So now, in in the command. Intruder alert. We want to edit this command and add an action to send an email. Uh huh. So, what would I go in here? Yeah. All right. So I add another action, and then. I want to send an email. So, uh, so is that S- SMTP? Is that right? It could be, or yeah, I think so. Well, I could also go to if I'm not sure. Personally, I've used this before. I do recommend this. That I find this this core actions sometimes. If you don't know what you're looking for, um, it can be hard to find. But I've gone to the wiki and found it um, very helpful. But anyways, I think it's S- SMTP. So. Send. Send. So it actually gives you some description here of um, how to use this uh, action. So I'm going to double click. So, so and unlike in previous ones where we've had sort of one area to fill in, now it looks like I have three different things. That yeah, and they're white, which means they're required. They're required. Parameters. Okay, so the first one, it tells me it needs to be the recipient's address. Yeah. So that was. Uh, and now, if you if the rollovers aren't working for you very well, you can click on the three box, the three building blocks icon. Uh huh. That's an alternative way to edit an action. Oh, cool. But does that specific? Oh, yeah. So it, to it's subject just, message, yeah, just, and so then I could fill in. You're trading off your economy of space for. Right. And then, okay, stinkymarcus at gmail dot com, and the subject is intruder alert. Intruder. Alert. Intruder alert. <laughs> James, I guess, just walked and set off the motion sensor. You may have heard that. Okay, so the message is, someone has invaded your space and is stealing your milk bones. Oh, so sad. Call the K9 patrol. Okay. What a ham. <laughs> I have to keep up with Mr. Wolf. He's like a natural comedian. Okay, so, so uh, can I? Yeah. Save and save execute. And execute. Intruder alert. Now, if you look at the history tree, it's send Stinky yeah. Marcos. So I could go and uh, log in um, to Gmail, and we'll see. Uh, bear with us. Come on, this is fun. They're all riveted. Okay, Gmail, and I said that his name was Stinky Dot Marcus. Marcos, and his password is Stinky Marcos. Annoying. Oh, Intruder alert! It worked! Someone has invaded your space. And is stealing your milk bones. Call the canine patrol. So, so the only other thing that uh, Mr. Whatever. Wolf yeah. did that I, that we wanted to address was closing oh, right. a program. So it's not relevant in the way that he did it, but let, we're just going to choose a program to close. Okay. So so let's just uh, create a new command under video response, mm-hmm. and we'll call it uh, close Chrome. 
and hopefully it'll work. It's possible. I, I seem to recall having problems with Chrome because it creates so many processes, so it might not work. Well, we'll give it a whirl. All right, so what do I do? Uh, go to, uh, let's take the magic wand and look at our list of core actions. <laughs> yeah. Uh, window, maybe? Yeah. Close. Close a process. Does that sound right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and so what would be, what would I need to enter there? So you need to know what the name of the, what the name of the process is. So uh -huh. if you look at your task viewer, you can see that actually see the names of all of the processes that are open right now. Right, okay. And so Chrome should be that. open, so. That's probably Chrome. So, Google Chrome. Uh, yeah, that's well, Windows 8, so it's a little different. Yeah. You might want to right click it and uh -huh. choose properties or something. Okay, so it's Chrome.exe, that's what we need, except that you don't need the .exe at the end. So it's you just need Chrome. Yeah. Okay. So it's obviously Chrome, but <laughs> some programs are not what you would expect them to be. So you want to check your task manager, basically, and, and see what they are. So you can just Seems click like. Save and Execute, and we'll see if it works. Bing! Chrome has been closed. Yeah, see? Chrome is closed. We'll open it again. Yeah, I'm just going to open the full window here so you can see. And then I will... See, here's Chrome. <laughs> and here's Windows, sorry. And uh, save and execute. Okay, so that works. We don't need to uh, make a voice command. Out. No, so that's how you would close a uh, window uh, in using Vox Commander without having to use some event ghost or some other program. And that's it. That's a video response. Definitely not as cool as Mr. Wolf's, but Intruder we hope alert. that <laughs> that this shows you uh, some other ways of using Vox. There are many flexible ways. You could do it Mr. Wolf's way, you could do it our way, and there are probably other ways. And that's one, one of the things that I find so cool about Vox Commando is that, yeah, you can problem solve in your own way and find your own solutions to things. Uh, so that's it for this tutorial uh, and video response. Thanks, Mr. Wolf, for giving us this opportunity to respond. Bye. Goodbye.